Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have a horizontally symmetrical grid today. And it looks like it's 16 squares long too. That's got to be to accommodate whatever theme we have today. This is interesting. It looks like we have a little basin in the middle here. Look at that. All right, let's start with one across. Smurf with red pants. I think that was Papa Smurf, wasn't it? Let's see if we can build off of Papa Smurf here. Days gone by. Is that just the past? Pedigree competitor. I think pedigree is a dog food, isn't it? I guess that would be Alpo. Sound from a contented cat. That is a purr. Times Arrow novelist Martin. Times Arrow? I don't know if I've heard of that book before. Yeah. Homecoming guest informally. I think that's going to be an alum, short for alumnus or alumna. Trunk in a studio. Trunk. This is interesting. I wonder what kind of studio they're asking about. I think it might be like an art studio. They might be talking about the trunk of a person, like a torso. Yeah, especially if it's like a sculpture studio. That's an interesting clue there. Um, so what is this gonna be? Amos, maybe? I don't think I've heard of this person. It looks like we have a grid spanner here. Let's take a look at this one. It's probably part of the theme. Chinese New Year, celebrated on February 1st, 2022. Oh, um, what is that gonna be? It's the year of the tiger, right? Huh. We think this might be an O? Chinese New Year. Hmm, I'm not sure what the answer for this is. Quick bite. Is that a nosh? Hmm. Is it going to start with spring? Is this a miss or a me, maybe? And this could be spring. Is this a G? Old couch's problem. Yeah, that could be a sag, right? Interesting. Performed in a choir. That's got to be sang. Algeria has the largest one among African countries. Is it area? Is it the most area? That could be. Sheepdog's greeting could be arf. Formerly called is ne. That's a French word that means born. That's what you put in front of your maiden name. Methane eg. I guess that's an example of a gas. Yeah. Okay, so is this going to be Spring Festival? It looks like it has to be, right? Excellent, okay. By now, these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for by now. And after yesterday's puzzle, I think we should all know what this is. This is going to be Tata. That was one of our theme answers yesterday. Okay, uptight type. Hmm, what is this going to be? What do you call someone that's uptight? Can you use prim as a noun? I don't know if you can. Is this an M? Stars negotiator. That should be an agent, right? Oh, okay, you know what this is going to be? It's going to be a prig. Yeah, that is an uptight person. Okay, overly proper. Is that posh? Let's see. Wander around. No, that should be Rove. Oh my god, is this Prim? <laughs> that's so funny. We wanted this to be Prim. Wow, that's amazing. We kind of predicted the future there. That's a good omen, I think. Okay, so this is going to be Rove. Mogadishu-born model and cosmetics mogul. Oh man, um, I know I've seen this name on grids before. Is it Iman with an M? capital where natives say arrivederci. That's got to be Rome, right? But because there's Italian in the clue, I want to say this might be the Italian word for Rome. That would be Roma. And then that would give us malt here. 
brewing ingredient. Yes, that is malt. Very good. All right, let's see if we can get some of these acrosses here. Lines at a theater. And this is wordplay that's indicated by this question mark here. With wordplay clues, you have to look for a punny answer. So this is not going to be about a line outside of a theater. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be about. Where's the pun? It has to be about lines. It has to be a different kind of line. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if the standard reading of this clue would actually be about lines that the actors are speaking at a theater. That's interesting. Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Well, let's get a little bit more crossing help on that one. What's this next long one? This might also be a theme answer. Jewish New Year, celebrated September 25th, 2022. Okay, I'm pretty sure this holiday is called Rosh Hashanah. I'm not 100% on the spelling though, let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's my best guess. Rosh Hashanah. Let's see if we can build off of that. It looks like our theme might be different kinds of New Year's. That's a very appropriate theme as we're celebrating Chinese New Year today. Tourney winners. Tourney. Hmm. That's interesting. Is it just going to be champs? I guess it could be. Tennis's Nadal. That's Rafael Nadal, right? I think that's right. Yeah. Thumbs down. Another equivalent phrase. Um... Hmm, it's gonna be a pan of some kind, a bad review. It's not, it stinks. I'm not sure about this one. Sentence segment, that should be a phrase. Oh, okay, yeah. We were kind of right about our first reading of the clue. The standard reading would be about a line outside the theater and the punny reading is about the script, those kind of lines, reading lines at a theater. Excellent, okay. And then this doesn't help too much here. A long way off is gonna be afar. The good place actress Rudolph. Yeah, that's Maya Rudolph. She's an SNL alumna. Okay, pigs hangouts are gonna be pens. Is this I say no? Is that an equivalent to thumbs down? I guess so. I guess this isn't a movie review thumbs down. This is more like of voting thumbs down. Yeah, I say no. And this is going to be slow. This is going to be a fruit, I guess. Blackthorn fruit, yeah. Slow is kind of a small fruit. It kind of looks like a berry, but we just learned recently that it's technically a stone fruit. You can make gin out of it. Excellent, okay, let's see if we can work on some of these downs here. Movie do-overs? That has to be reshoots. Ooh, that's too long. Okay, maybe it's retakes. Excellent, okay. Standing guard. It seems like that should start with on. Um, it can't be on guard though, because the word guard is in the clue. Hmm, maybe it's on watch? Could that be? These letters look terrible. Two A's, TW. I'm very skeptical that this is correct, yeah. Korean New Year, celebrated on February 1st, 2022. Oh, we're celebrating Korean New Year today too. That's great. Um, I don't know what this one is called. Yeah, let's get some crossing help here. Nevada's third largest city. Well, that could be Reno. That's interesting. Maybe on watch is actually right. Although on wasn't the questionable part of this answer, yeah. A list ending abbreviation. That should be at all. That's an abbreviation for a Latin phrase, at ali. It just means and others. It's used when you're listing multiple people, but you don't want to actually go on and list every single name. You just say Smith at all, Smith and others. Yeah. Okay, so that means on watch is definitely wrong. Maybe this is going to be on alert instead. Yeah, okay. Impudence? Impudence. Hmm. It's kind of like a rebellious attitude, right? 
Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Big seller of flat pack furniture. That's definitely Ikea. Haggard of country music. I've seen this name before. I know that's a Merle Haggard. Approximate figure. And they're looking for an abbreviation in the answer because figure in the clue is abbreviated. So I think this is going to be estimate here. And government in power. I guess that's going to be a regime. So this is going to be gall. Yeah, this is like some nerve, right? Okay, so this is solal. Ooh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Well, happy solal, everyone. All right, let's see if we can get the downs over here. Iranian New Year, celebrated on March 21st, 2022. Okay, I don't know this one either. Explanatory page on a company's website. Hmm, it's not the FAQ page. Is this going to be about us? That sounds good. President between Calvin and Franklin. Okay, so I guess they're talking about Calvin Coolidge and Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Um, was that Hoover? Is that going to be Herbert? <laughs> Herbert Hoover? Nice, okay. Follow as orders. That's going to be obey. Became threadbare. I guess that's going to be war. Is that right? It has to be in the past tense. Um, hmm. Affirmatives. Yes, that's going to be yeses. You can spell this with one S or two S's. We get the double S today. Barbecue spice mixes. That's going to be rubs. Pack 12 team. I think this is going to be the Utes from Utah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen this word either. What is that going to be? Clear skies color. It's looking like it's going to be Azure. So this is Nauras. Wow. Boy, both of these I've never seen before. But we have four New Years so far. Chinese New Year, Jewish New Year, Korean and Iranian. That's pretty cool. Okay. Blank warrior, environmental activist. I think that's going to be an eco warrior. Org on a mouthwash bottle. Again, we have an abbreviation, so our answer needs to be abbreviated. I think that's going to be the American Dental Association. Came to a halt. Is that going to be ceased? Thai New Year, celebrated on April 13th, 2022. Um, again, I have no idea. Go in. Is that just going to be enter? Like ballet dancers. Well, I guess ballet dancers are pretty agile. Unit of yarn. That's going to be a skein. That's a very interesting word. Yeah, that's kind of arcane. Messed up could be aired. Let's just double check these acrosses here. Stadium level is a tier, yes. Fashion designer Tahari. Eli Tahari, I have not heard of them. It looks plausible enough though. And then Rend for tear to pieces, yeah, that all looks good. All right, still no idea on this one. Oh, and we're not gonna be able to work our way into these corners because we don't know this term, that's so funny. All right, we're gonna have to start fresh in both of these. Big toucan feature. They have huge beaks, right? It's gonna be a beak. Dynamite K-pop band. Is that BTS? They're the huge K-pop band, right? Dine could be eat. Tool on a fire truck is an ax. Okay, it's looking like we might have a taxi here. Prepare for takeoff. Oh yeah, this is the verb taxi. Bit of a dance is a step. And then not attend, looks like it's going to be skip. Okay, all right, we managed to get that corner pretty well. Squared up. Hmm, I wonder if that's even. Like if you're square with someone, you're even. Fight for could be vie for. When you have this word in parentheses at the end of a clue, that just means you need to be able to put it at the end of your answer and still have it sound correct. 
So Vi4 still sounds good. Pointy-eared toy maker. Is that going to be an elf? Like an elf in Santa's workshop? Acrobat's safeguard. That's going to be a net. Yeah, an acrobat on a flying trapeze like we had on Sunday. Okay, tick off. Ooh, so this is not about counting, not that kind of ticking off. I think this is about making someone angry. This is going to be Ryle. Nice, okay. Highly skilled, that's going to be deft, kind of like a ballerina maybe. And then what do we have on our last answer here? Peter Parker in Spider-Man for one. I guess he's a nerd, right? He's kind of a science nerd. And then that gives us Songkran. Man, another word I haven't seen before. This was a very educational New Year's theme. All right, let's put that N in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 19 minutes. That's a pretty good time, especially considering we didn't know 60% of the theme answers on this puzzle. Yeah, we only really knew Spring Festival and Rosh Hashanah. The rest of these I did not know, Solal, Songkran and Nauruz. All of those were completely new terms for me. But yeah, it's nice to have learned that. And of course, I love when they do theme puzzles that tie into whatever holiday is happening. So I definitely appreciate this one. Um, I think maybe the solve experience itself wasn't as much fun just because there wasn't really any like trickiness to the theme. It was just kind of like either you know it or you don't. But because it ties into a holiday, I'm still pretty happy with this one. Yeah, and it definitely made the solving experience tougher going into the southern half of the grid because we needed to get crossing help on pretty much every letter of these last three New Year's. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the fact that Rosh Hashanah and Solal and Nauru's cross might be a pair of very dicey crosses for people that don't know Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, these two squares might be very tricky. I'll be interested to hear if you ran into any trouble with this intersection of three New Year's celebrations. We didn't have too much wordplay or trickiness on the puzzle. We did get this one wordplay clue here for lines at a theater. I appreciated that one for script. And I think my favorite clue of the puzzle was actually this one, trunk in a studio. It's kind of a misdirection. It makes you think that they're talking about a storage trunk perhaps. Yeah, but they're talking about the trunk of a person. Very, very tricky there. All right, well, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year whenever you happen to celebrate it. I hope you enjoyed solving that Tuesday puzzle along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.